So the goal here is to explain, yes, to understand what's out there, but it's also normative to try to come up with uh, policies uh, that allow more inclusive financial systems, if the data indicate that, but also to think about the overall efficiency and to think about market design and optimal regulation. Um, there is some logic in all of this, basically. You assume something or several things. You go out there and test. It may fit. If it does fit, you've understood sort of the financial contracts and the imperfection. If it's full information, full risk sharing, then you know we have this wonderful standard. And it's clear, at least at the village level in India, you shouldn't be intervening with particular households. On the other hand, if you reject, maybe it's due to a moral hazard problem, uh, the problem that people don't repay and they walk away from their investments. The data can help indicate that. Now then the question is, is it all still constrained? It, maybe it's second best optimal. Maybe this first best standard is an, an illusion. But maybe when it's second best, things like allowing more goods to play the role as collateral, like changing the legal system, those kinds of reforms might, uh, might be indicated.